What's so funny, TSM? <laughs> It's the makeup nurse, you better fix your ways. The makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. It's the makeup nurse, you better get away. It's the makeup nurse, she about to fix your face. The makeup nurse, the makeup nurse, the makeup nurse. I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today is Senate Saturday and it's September 3rd. It's also Welsh. Rarebit Day, U.S. Bowling League Day, Tailgating Day, and Beer Day. So that's the day for my husband and his long beard. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to use this Rose Petal Toner. I just put some on. And the rose petals smells refreshing. So if you like the smell of rose petal, you'll like this. I don't know what happened to my other one though. Okay, that Kiwi Ice Serum. Rub that in. And then I am going to use the ice cream serum. I call it the ice cream. It's the Dippin' Dots. Vitamin C serum, but it smells like ice cream. I found this on the, um, well, like one of the flash sales or whatever from Ipsy, and I only saw it once. I can't find it again. So, okay, I'm not gonna put my cream on right now, my eye cream, because Every time I mess up, I have to wash that off, and I feel like I'm taking off my cream. So I'll just do it later. All right, um, and then, but we are going to put some moisturizer on, and we're going to use the Elf Jelly Pop moisturizer. And this smells like watermelon. I went to Ulta the other day and I went to the ColourPop section. I didn't really um, see any of their skin line there, skincare there. And I went to the skincare section too and didn't see it, any from ColourPop. Because Gloria from Beauty FD50, um, she, she said that their skincare smells good. Alright, I'm going to use the Pineapple Lip Scrub from Bally Balm. So I just took this out of the package. Um, it's supposed to clean brushes in between use because, and I forgot to clean my brushes last night, but it's like there's no nothing like, is it supposed to be wet? Like a little bit of, I don't know. I don't think it's working. But it came off a little bit. But anyway, we're going to go use this Turkish Delight palette. Um, it's supposed to smell, but honestly, all the makeup, Revo or I Heart Revolution makeup, when it says it smells, I cannot smell it, but whatever. All right, let's go in with the shade. I guess let's go in with Candy. I don't know. Have you guys been able to smell any of the Make I Heart Revolution palettes? Because 
I haven't been able to. And when I bought some of them off of Amazon, not Amazon, Amazon, is, it's hard to tell um, if they smell or not. But when I buy them off of Ulta, I'll specifically go to the description and it, if it says it smells like, I'll buy it. And then guess what? I can't smell it. But my my scent isn't the most reliable as you as you guys already know. So I'm just pretending this is smelling like a Turkish delight. They're pretty palettes, but I bought them for the scent and it's deceiving, false advertising. Okay, let's go in with pomegranate. And it does have a mirror, it's a pretty palette, it's packaged well, and it's pretty colors. So, I mean, it's a pretty package, but I still would not have bought it if it, I mean, I have too many palettes. I have like way too many palettes. And lately some of these palettes, like the rose gold and then this one from I Heart Revolution, it just seems like it takes a while to build up and blend. I mean, look at how much I'm trying to make this work. Okay. Now we're going to use the shade Delight. Oh, I remember this shade. The glitter in this is not the greatest. Okay. Right, I want my brush. Let's see if it does any... If I remember right, even when I wet my brush, it didn't do anything. It didn't do very well. So let's try to build this up. Yeah, these formula from Makeup I Heart Revolution. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be. very good sometimes some of these palettes see and it's just getting clumpy guess I should put some glitter glue down I don't know where it's at right now yeah that's probably what you need with this is the, um, is the, uh, is some glitter glue, and I bet it would be so much easier, and stick on easier. I just don't know where it went. <clears throat> okay, okay, let's try this rose water shade. 
see what happens and if we can put I mean it's a light shade so I don't know if it'll show up you can kind of see it And then let's take this and kind of blend that in. Okay, okay. now I'm going to go in with the cream, the eye cream, the Essence Coffee to Glow eye cream. Ooh, a lot came out. So I'm just going to put it under here. It's supposed to. Smell like coffee, but I've never smelt the coffee. Yet. Just gonna rub that in. Okay, and I usually go in with this. Well, when I remember for Sun and Saturday, this is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Peach Mattifying Priming Spray. And then I normally go in with a primer, but today I'm just going to use this as primer and see how it works. All right. I do smell the orange. So I have a revolution. Their setting sprays are scented. I just wish that they could make their palettes a little bit better. While my face is drying from that spray, I went ahead and used my scented um, vanilla deodorant. So I've got that. And I'll go ahead and use my pumpkin pecan waffles um, spray from Bath and Body uh, Bath and Body Works. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Do You infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber in the shade Vanilla. So you guys, I'm filming this before um, work um, this week because I am going to San Antonio this weekend and I don't know what I'm going to be doing on Saturday because um, I am meeting my friend in San Antonio, so I'm so excited. You guys, I've been really good lately not buying makeup and it's been hard. Okay, let's go in with the Peach Perfect. And this is infused with peach and sweet fig cream from Too Faced. And I use this foundation as a bronzer. Because you've probably heard me say this over and over again. I didn't pay attention when I ordered it off of Amazon. And I just, ooh, sent and ordered. Not paying attention to the shade. So now I use it as bronzer. See, I can always try to make something work. Some most of the time. Not all the time. And even if I make it work it might not look the best because I'm trying to make it work and it really sucks I have some makeup right now I've that one foundation that is colorless or goes on white and it's supposed to match your skin that foundation stinks and um, this primer I have like really sucks too 
it like pills but I've been trying to play with it to see if like you use it a certain way or do a different stuff if it won't pill and I don't know I haven't found anything yet with that primer and yes I just continue to use it okay once again I'm going to use the flower beauty cream cream blush this is the gel crush lip and cheek and it's in the raspberry crush I don't have, I think this is, this and the Too Faced ones that I use are the only scented cream blush that I have. And I do smell that. I should buy more of the Flower Beauty cream blushes because of the sticks since they're scented. But it's also hard to find stuff from Flower Beauty. So, I guess I could order online, but... I'm trying really hard not to buy either, so. Alright, now we're going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Liquid Highlight. And this smells like watermelon. I love all these scents. I think um, it only smells in the package though. As soon as it goes on your face, I don't think it really smells. Otherwise, people would be like, Jamie, you need to lay off those, all those scents. Okay, so now we're going to go in with Poucher. And so I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula Baby Butter Powder banana powder for to set my face. To set my face. be butter. It's like a sweet a sweet smell. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the butterscotch physician formula. Translucent powder for my T zone. I wonder if it's like all the same smell and it's like Oh, butterscotch or something because it is a sweet smell and this one's butterscotch well it says butterscotch on it yeah it's been hot here in Texas actually the last couple of days hasn't been as hot because it rained Especially in Texas, I feel like I have to really make sure everything's set real good because I will start, you know, especially my T-zone for oil. Now I'm going to use my favorite bronzer, Physician's Formula, the Butter Donut. It smells like donuts. I love this. And I did buy another one a long time ago. If, um, you saw that video it's when I was in California and I dropped it off my little table area brand new and it shattered all over the floor I'm like no <laughs> my favorite bronzer oh well I can buy it again I guess if I need to and I probably will end up buying it again 
because I love the color and it smells so heavenly. This, I've had this for a while. I think scents come down some, obviously, probably. But when I first got this, it like, it really, really, like, oh my gosh, it was not so good I wanted to eat it. <laughs> but I, clearly I didn't eat it. And no, I didn't eat the other one that supposedly shattered, right? <laughs> If that's what you're thinking. Like, uh huh. It it shattered, Jamie. No, you probably ate it. Okay, because I need to use some of this up because it, it broke. I'm using the sugar peach face and eye palette, and it's really broken. So. I'm going to try to use some of this up and I guess it's going to be the sugar peach but it's like all over the place this is the palette that broke and I it's just like super powdery now I don't know if I can even press it back in so I'm going to try to use it, it up as much as possible while I'm here and I can just sit and I can get it before I have to travel or pack everything up again because I think they'll extend me but I don't know if they will because, you know, I am expensive and who knows what will happen. Okay, so now we're going to use the highlighter and I'm going to, and I can't get to the highlighter in that palette because <laughs> all the, uh, the blush is on top of it. So, oh, so I'm going to use the Physician Formula Let's Toast. And this is from the Bread and Butter Collection. Look at that highlight. use this brush that has all the glitter on it but I'm also going to go in with this rose water with the same brush and mix try mixing it underneath I'm not going to add any more of that glitter shade, but okay, I'm just going to kind of take this and blend it. Okay, now I'm going to use the Co Tasty Coconut from I Heart Revolution, and this is a brow oil. So I've already done my brows, and it smells like coconut. That's one thing that they were right on. And now I'm going to go in with this 100% pure, pure Maracuja Oil Mascara. <sighs> smells so good.
Okay, now I'm going to use the shade Delicacy for right above my eye. And I think I'm going to use that same shade and put it right here. Okay, now we're going to use NYX This Milky Strawberry Horchata color. Okay, instead of hairspray today, because it's been a couple days that I've had my hair straight, um, and I am going to use this Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo Orange Mangles, Mango Scent. So I'm just going to spray this in my hair. And then tonight, I'll have to unstraighten it. Alright, this is the final look using Scented Saturday products. Let me know what you think. Okay, the riddle of the day is, what is shaped like a box, has no feet, and runs up and down? Comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!